When a submersible with five people on board went missing in the Atlantic, search crews searched the ocean hoping to find survivors until a deep sea vehicle found the wreckage of the Titan. Three months on, Sky News has spoken to the crew who took part in the five day search. In a small town in upstate New York is the team and technology that raised the Titan. Pumps running, pumps loaded. All the IP cameras are good. At the base of Pelagic, we filmed the searchers and the machinery they used, the so-called Odysseus 6K. Inside a testing container, we saw the technology deployed in the depths of the North Atlantic, the claws on camera and the lasers that pierced through the pitch black of an ocean floor. It is the remotely operated vehicle that was called in after the Titan went missing. The submersible had gone quiet. There was a window of time to rescue the crew of Titan. I got a call from one of my colleagues. Hey, is the ROV ready to go? We may need some help. The Titan had gone silent after taking a tourist trip to the site of the Titanic. The search vessel was one of few in the world capable of reaching the depths required in the hunt for five people on board the missing submersible. We knew that they had, a, if they were there, they had a certain amount of uh, air to breathe and we had to beat that clock. How long is it going to take you to mobilize? You know, we said 12 hours, we're hoping to do it in eight. We did it in six. The Odysseus joined a fleet of aircraft and ships above the site where the Titan disappeared. Operators of the search vessel were unaware that the sound of an underwater implosion had been heard shortly after the Titan lost contact. We were always thinking about the crew of the Titan. We were always thinking about the families. We're planning on rescuing some, some people off the seafloor. And these guys were explorers and entrepreneurs in many ways and uh, brethren in lots of ways. Within moments of the robot being lowered onto the seabed, its cameras beamed back pictures of debris from the missing vessel. It was a time that we all kind of took a breath. It was a combination of, you know, profound disappointment. We'd spent four or five days to that, that point of expecting to go down there and perform a miracle. No, that was tough. I mean, everyone's a professional, but you cannot help but be impacted, right? We're all tired. We're all, you know, we're all very hopeful. When we uh, discovered the debris, um, it took us a moment to really understand that and to think about what that meant. It is the underwater tale that ended in tragedy and loss, not for a lack of endeavor or expertise. James Matthews, Sky News.